We're back again with another screen review. Ah, shiza! Crap, I actually, that, none of you guys don't even know what that means. Technically, it's a f bomb in German, according to my mom. I technically just said an f bomb on the channel. But still, but yeah, yeah, the reason I did this, I'm currently trying to work a custom knife. I could just pour one right now, but uh, yeah, I'm not spending my money anytime until I have. Probably enough for something I would like to spend my money wisely. I mean, I have like $23 in my checkout savings. No, not savings. I don't know. But, but basically, I have $67 in total in my bank account and my save. Like, I'm not allowed to touch my savings. Why am I even talking about my bank account? Right now, I'm going to be talking about Scream 2, which is technically a re review since I've done a double movie review of Scream and Scream 2 back in 2020, along with a series review of Scream. Let's see, though, I think. Uh, yes. I'm currently making a video. Sorry, uh, she needs to see you through your specialty. Not it. Thank you. I've got you up like a fish. Okay, why did I set that to my own dad? If, if he showed up on camera in his undies, I'm gonna need to bleep, I'm gonna need to cover that art, cover that up. Oh yeah, but yeah, uh, seriously though, are they, are they continuing the Scream series? Because... I would like to see, I would like to see who, who, who killed, um, the killer for season two. Was it the dad? Or Brandon James? Anyway, so I'm just gonna take this off now. And, uh, yeah, I took a shower, so right now my hair is just, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna put a hood on, hood on, because why not? Honestly, this hood was not what I expected to be. I was hoping it'd be the ghost face hood, but this is technically a little red writing hood. Cloak. Could. Whether you want to call it. I'm just going to put the hood on because why not? I, I'll fix my hair another time. But yeah, I, I got to work on a, my custom dagger if I can. I just need tin foil for the... I don't know. I'll, I'll work something out. I was able to make this. It's all right. Came out all right. Yeah, see? It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Anyways, I'm getting, I'm getting off topic. So yeah, I did just finish watching uh, Scream 2 just now. And... Uh, I gotta say, this is another good time. Now, there's something I forgot to mention in the first one, and that is, in the first one, Gail Weathers, she was kind of a dislikable person throughout the entire movie until she eventually came back from the quote-unquote dead when we all thought she died in a car accident with a van, and then she just popped out of nowhere holding the gun to Billy and Stu. Hey, at least she's not dislikable in the sequel. I'll, I'll say that right off the bat. Also, another thing I'll say right off the bat. Can you believe they tried to kill off Dewey twice in this freaking franchise? Apparently, it was... It, it was uh, uh, this is a fact I heard from somewhere. I don't know where I heard this from, but... Originally, they were gonna... Actually, I think I've heard this from 3C Films, possibly. I don't know. I, I just heard... I heard this from somewhere. But, um... They were going to originally kill off Dewey in the first one, but since they had a test screen for audiences, people really liked Dewey, and like, okay, looks, it looks like we can't kill him off. People will be upset. Bring him back. And whose idea was it to just basically do it again, but just not kill him? You basically did the same thing like the first one, because literally they tried killing him off twice in this freaking franchise, like I said earlier. But you know what they say. Third time's a charm because Scream 5 could be the movie where Dewey dies. And if he dies, <laughs> I'm going to be very upset because Dewey is definitely one of my favorite characters from uh, the Scream movies. But who want to know who's another favorite character of mine? Randy. I'm not going to lie. Seeing him get killed off, whether I react, whether I watch the Dead Me Kill Count or watch the actual movie, it was tough for me to watch. Because every time I just see uh, Randy just get killed off, I'm just like... <laughs> oh man! Seriously though, they should have never killed off Randy in the, in the first place. May he rest in peace. This is it. Every time he gets killed off, I'm always gonna get upset because just we broke all of our hearts, and we're probably gonna have our hearts broken again once we possibly see do we die. I don't know. Right now, I'm trying to avoid possible spoilers. Like we got a final trailer today for Scream. I would have done a trailer reaction for that, but uh, I've learned a lesson from. I've learned a lesson about final trailers. Because they sometimes give everything away. Like, when I watched Dune... Actually, when I watched the final trailer of Dune, I then recognized a scene that was featured in there, which was Stanley the ending, and I'm, I basically could have spoiled something for me. So, yeah. I did myself a favor by not watching the final trailer for, um... 
Dune. But I did watch the final trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife, and apparently I was sort of spoiled of seeing three appearances in the movie, but honestly, we all saw it coming. Same goes for, uh, you know who being in you know what. So yeah, I'm gonna be avoiding final trailers till I see the movie, so after I see Scream, I'm gonna see what they had in store with the uh, final trailer, but just, dude, I feel like Dewey's gonna die. I'm hoping not, but... Like, like, you know what people say, third time's a charm. And also another thing I gotta be upset about, the boyfriend. At least the boyfriend was not the killer for this one, because, like, I was upset, like, damn, the boyfriend, you know, they were kind of cute together, but damn. So it was the boyfriend after all. He was just a likable guy, and damn, it was just so upset when he got killed off, because, like, Cindy was just having trouble trusting, like, oh my god, is my boyfriend a killer too? I don't know what to think no more. And then literally, Mickey just kills him off, which... Oh, man. Then Cindy just realized that, Oh, my God, she, she wasn't a killer. What have I done? Uh, it was heartbreaking to watch, but not as heartbreaking to see Randy die in Scream 2. But that could change with Scream 5, with Dewey dying. Okay, every time I keep mentioning Dewey possibly dying in Scream 5, it's like I saw a spoiler, which... Uh, let me be clear on something. I've seen no spoilers yet. I alright. I have my bets on who could be the killers, and especially from the start, I have not changed my opinions. I, I've not changed my opinions on who could be the killers, but eventually I'll then like, oh my god, maybe he's not the killer. So who's gonna be? I don't know, but still, I'll, I'll talk about who I'm betting on who could the killer be once I make my movie vlog this this Friday. But seriously, though, I I feel like in my gut, too, he's gonna somehow die. Let's just hope that isn't true, ladies and gentlemen. Also, another thing I should talk about. Since the opening scene of the first, um, Scream movie, that was terrifying, but also this opening scene was also terrifying as well. I mean, they're having a little tradition where we have the classic opening kill. Now that, I'm looking forward to see the opening kill for Scream 5, but, uh, let's just hope the, uh, actress that voices Brooklyn, in case you haven't noticed. Now, Sally, I cannot remember her name at the moment. I'm very terrible with names sometimes, but... Yeah, I'm not capping. The actress that voices Brooklyn in Camp Cretaceous is in this movie. And she's also in Stuck in the Middle, but apparently in U Season 2, which I still gotta catch up, along with Season 3. Now, there's a 50-50 chance she could be killed off in this movie, which I hope not, because I don't like seeing my favorite actors get killed off. But after watching 3C Films The Trailer Breakdown, she could be one of the first people to survive the opening kill. But we shall find out once we see the movie this Friday. What are my thoughts with the killer reveal? So... For Mickey, yeah, uh, so honestly, I po I probably forgot, you know, honestly, after, wa you know, we watching the Scream movies, because honestly, I found out who the killers were, because I first saw the Dead Meat Kill Counts, because I was, like, way before I saw the movies, I was not into horror, especially in the Scream movies, I just watched the Dead Meat Kill Counts, because I'm a Dead Meat fan, and I like to watch some Kill Counts, and I technically have to do my own type of Kill Count, but... Not for horror movies, basically with every R-rated movie I watch. Not only I count the kills, I count the F-bombs. Mm, man, it's probably been like three years since I've done a F-bomb kill count. I gotta do it again. But I was probably surprised to find... But I was probably somehow surprised, even though I knew the killer, but probably forgot. I don't know, I forgot how I reacted watching uh, Scream 2 along with the other Scream movies. But I'll say I was probably surprised, because... I sometimes forget, so like there could have been a chance where I forgot who the killer was, and then I was surprised, and then, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I guess that's all, I, 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 I don't know how to explain that. But even though I saw the dead meat kill count of, for Scream 2, I was definitely surprised about one thing, which I definitely forgot about, and that was the second killer, which would be Billy's mother. Because honestly, from the moment she appeared while I was watching the movie, I'm just like, who the hell is she? Because clearly I was not paying attention to the entire thing. But as I rewatch it, I then pay attention, guys. Because I then remember the killer since I recently watched um, Scream 2 review from 3C Films since he's reviewing the Scream movies. But seriously, though, I was just like, who is she? Um, I don't know this person. Because I was not paying close attention, close details to, to, like, she was obviously throughout the entire movie, and I was just not paying attention when I first watched it, which I definitely remember. But yeah, after re-watching this, I'm then just, like, thinking, just thinking to myself, how the heck have I not noticed this person? Like, she appears almost every, every, well, not, like, every scene, but in a couple of scenes. 
And it would make sense for why I didn't recognize her because I was not paying close attention the first time I was watching it. But I'm a bit 50-50 with the killer reveal of Billy's mother. But for the Mickey reveal? Okay, yeah. That, <laughs> that guy. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with one thing that Sydney says in this movie. You're psychotic. Yeah, he definitely is psychotic. Also nothing. Cotton weary. So, obviously I was surprised to see him just pop out of nowhere. Especially with uh, Gail just bringing him in. Like, well, what the hell is going on? Also, not only... Dewey tries to get killed off twice in the Scream franchise, but Sydney punches Gale in the face twice in this franchise. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. I just thought I'd just bring, bring it out right off the bat. Did I forget to mention that the opening kill for this movie was pretty much as terrifying as the um, first one? I probably didn't. I don't know. I'm all over the place at the moment. But hey, I'm glad you got a little, little quote-unquote redemption. I don't know, but still, basically, I was... Starting to dislike this character, but then uh, I then liked him when he, uh, guess, made the right move or something? I don't freaking know. But after liking him, I then, of course, would be upset he gets killed on the third one, which they probably should have never killed him off in the third one. But I don't know my thoughts on the movie, so is it as good as the first one? Honestly, I enjoy watching all Scream movies, but yeah, it is, as, I would say it's as good as the first one. Now, there is a bit, I may have one one or a couple of now I may have one nitpick about this movie and it's like it's this is the perfect sequel just with one issue and just uh it's probably with and it probably has to do with the reveal of uh Billy's mother because like I said I was 50 50 with that reveal but she was still crazy though so she kind of won me over a little bit but yeah I think the first two Scream movies were very good movies in the Scream franchise but what about the other two which would be Scream 3 and 4 I mean like I said I do enjoy watching all Scream movies but uh there's a lot I gotta say for Scream 3 and 4 because actually actually I'll save it for my for my reviews because definitely I have not made reviews movie reviews for Scream 3 and 4 so yeah those movies are gonna be very interesting to talk about guys I'll say this. I do have one issue with both uh, Scream 3 and 4. But you shall find out once I make a movie review, finally, about damn time I do. Starting tomorrow, hopefully. Let's hope I be able to upload this before curfew. I don't know what time is it now, but it's probably almost 9, which I should have enough time to end this thing. Anyways, that's just my thoughts on... Oh my god, what the, you just did, what the heck did I just do? But yeah, those are my thoughts on Scream 2. Let me know your thoughts, comments down below. And uh, yeah, do be sure to stay tuned for my Scream three and four movie reviews about damn time I make those reviews because I'm supposed to make those probably back in 2020 as I watched those movies for the first time but yeah be sure to let me know your thoughts comments down below and be sure to stay tuned for my not only movie review but movie vlog of Scream 5 because I will be wearing this I just gotta figure out how am I gonna make my uh, dagger this is gonna be fun anyways as always I'll see you guys in the next video peace out We're back again.